Hi there, I'm Rabbi Adam Stein. I'm gonna pull this down even though I'm gonna get colder. I'm sitting in the middle of Camby Street. Yes, I saw a chair sitting in the divider in the midst of Camby right near 39th. And I saw, what is a chair doing there? Well, I'll try to give you a little bit of a, of a laugh and some entertainment as you watch me in different locations in our weekly video. You know, there's a lot of snow here the past couple weeks. Snow all over the place. We just dug our car, put one car in our garage and the rest is storage. So the other car sits out on the street and it sat there for a couple weeks of the snow and we just tried to dig it out with our kids. It took a while. Uh, you know, it's not just here though. My aunt and uncle and cousins are in Lake Tahoe. My cousins grew up there. My aunt and uncle lived there a long time. They've never seen snow like this. Not for, it broke records that were half a century old. 210 inches, that's over five meters of snow in December. And the, the Lake Tahoe has 258, I think, percent of its snowpack for this, for this season. Now that's good for people in LA and the Bay Area like my parents, because uh, they can get some uh, relief from the drought, but not easy with all the traffic building up and accidents. It's, it's, like, we have, it's like we have plagues, right? <laughs> Might be an overused term, uh, but we have tons of snow, not just here, but out in Abbotsford and Whistler and other places. Uh, again, very tough for people out in the cold and driving, trying to get people and things to different places. And Abbotsford just dealt with those uh, floods only a few weeks ago. And further out in BC, you have places that are dealing with the snow now, but only recently before that, not just the floods, but the awful fires that destroyed whole towns like Lytton. Uh, in one fell swoop. Uh, so we think about these things, and I mentioned plagues. Actually, it's in this week's Torah portion that uh, that we have the first seven plagues. Um, you think of plagues, and you think of the ones that are in the Bible, but we also think of um, fires, the snow that we have now, um, the hail is one of the plagues. But you even think of tornadoes. Recently, we saw this awful, awful tornado. You might have seen it in the news on, on TV or online or in the newspapers. Mayfield, Kentucky and other places in the U.S., uh, Midwest and South. Just, just unbelievable how it tore through these towns. I saw a picture recently. I think it was in the front page of the New York Times um, maybe three or four days ago. Looking down from maybe a helicopter or a drone, two churches next to each other. And the churches were both, both just destroyed completely by this tornado. But in between the torn apart churches is a gathering of worshipers for Christmas. And to imagine, let's see if my glasses have, oh good, the fog is gone now. So imagine this holiday that's supposed to be about light and hope, Christmas, in the midst of the dark winter, just like Hanukkah is during the winter solstice, and people gathered right next to the church that's been destroyed utterly by this tornado and having some light and some hope. This week's parasha is the first seven plagues. The next three are the following week. I don't know if the Egyptians have light or hope and the plague of darkness coming up, they have no light. But as I said, one of the plagues is hail. And the plague of hail is, is interesting. It's hail with some fire mixed in. So multiple, multiple uh, uh, acts of God, you might say. Acts of God sounds like a strange term to me. It sounds like it belongs in an insurance policy. Uh, but multiple types of acts of God, if you want to use that, that term, mixed into one, that the, the hail and the fire all mixed together. And the Malbim, who's a um, uh, Mayor Lavouche, I think it was his name, a Russian commentator on the Torah from the 1800s. He points out something interesting about the plague of hail. He says that, I'm not sure if he knew all the, the science, but we know now that, um, that sound travels a bit slower than, than light. So you know, you, from far away, you, you see the ball being hit by, by a bat or, or something, something happening, and then you hear it a split second later. So we see the lightning and then we hear the thunder. But in the Torah about this plague, it mentions the thunder first and then the lightning. The Egyptians heard the thunder and then they saw the lightning. So the Malbian says that this is an indication that something supernatural is going on here. Indication that it's not just 
a big heavy storm. Now again, I, I don't think God is sending us this storm to tell us something, but maybe, maybe this earth, this home planet that we're living on is reminding us of something. That these storms, these tornadoes, fires, the hail, the snow, these extreme events are more and more likely to happen with climate change. And that we need to try to do something, find cleaner sources of energy, use less energy, protect our natural resources so that we can, can, you can continue to have this home with as few plagues as possible for as long as possible. I wish you all a happy, happy new year coming up this weekend, a Shabbat Shalom, and most of all, a healthy week and a healthy year. Shabbat Shalom.